What is up, everybody? We are back to take a look at Day 7, the finale of the December Clan War Leagues, and to see how we did, how the attacks went, what kind of bases we saw on our mirrors. Take a look at our main account. We went with the Queen Walk Flame Flinger and the Super Bowlers. Got the Flame Flinger on the top left side. Gonna clear all these defenses. And we put the Queen on the right side of the base. Hoping that she'll go up towards the right. Take out some of the edge so that our troops can pad very easily into the town hall. This war was very close and it decided if we would stay in Masters 3 or if we would get promoted as a clan up to Masters 2. So I went with a super safe high percent two star approach. The riskier approach would have been to charge the Archer Queen in, try to get the Eagle and the Scatter Shots, perhaps. Safe approach, just completely ignore all that. Just go around the base, send everything in, rage them up, and then have the jump position so that if anything wants to get over, they can fly right over. The Eternal Tome is looking good. Send the Royal Champ over for the Monolith, just in case. But, yeah, everything after that Town Hall, they all scattered all different directions and are now getting picked apart one by one. But since we went with this safer approach, our royal champion is going to pick up the remainder of these outer buildings and gives us enough access to destroy some of the trash buildings on the perimeter. All right, now we're already at a 75% two star. Very, very good. You always want to shoot to get between about an 80 to 90% two star for a high two star strategy. That is perfect. It's so not a whole lot more. They're not quite able to get the builder hut or the scatter. We end with an 87% two-star, and completely circling the base. It's very cool. Next up, we have the mini account. We're going with the classic Witch Slap. Even boosted the army to maybe get a three-star, just to see. Decided to go directly into this top compartment with minor funneling. The idea is to push everything into the town hall. Hopefully tome and then jump into the eagle. Use the earthquake to soften things up as troops were looking to go elsewhere. However, that pesky tornado trap stalled the attack and that explosion hit everything so many yetis go down so now we send in the royal champion from the right side try to take out this scatter shot queen and warden take out the left side however the royal champion had to battle the queen and that was not a fun battle for my royal champion. So the scatter shot is still up. So there's really no way for this to become a three star. 
We had needed everything to jump over the two walls, utilizing the jump spell, take out the eagle, and hopefully take out the scatter shots along the way. It will drop the minion, pick up one more building just before the eagle has time to lock on and kill it. So we end with a 71% two star. And we won by one star. It was extremely close. And we were about even on percentage as well. It's kind of crazy. And how it played out is if we did not win that match, we would not have gotten the 10 bonus stars to actually get promoted. So it was, it was really close. Especially because we were fighting the, the second clan, the number two clan on the last war. So these are the end results for us. We get to go up to Masters 2, which is nice. And these are the grand total of all of our performance over the week. Now, on a couple of the tougher matches, we're still not getting up to the... What I would classify as the minimum 30 stars needed as a clan to get up to Masters 2 and sometimes Masters 1. Uh, anything above Masters 1, you need full of the maximum Town Hall. So in this case, we need full 15 out of 15 or full 30 out of 30 Town Hall 15s. All also performing extremely well, getting two stars always and then sometimes getting three stars. And that's usually what pushes the clans up in ranking. So on two of them, or three of them, we fell below the 30 star we'd like, or no, four of them. Yeah, actually, so four we did not so great, and three we did okay. And the one that we got 39 on was the one with the really underdeveloped Bases. And as far as how did I do in my clan, you can see I got first and second. Always got the two stars, and sometimes on the weaker bases was able to pick up the third star. It was very, very good. Of course, I would have liked to have been 21 stars out of the potential 21 stars. 18 out of 21, still not bad. Well, that wraps up the CWL week for December. Let me know what you guys thought. If you want to see another recap like this in January or not. As always, thank you for watching. And if you would like to see more of my videos, I welcome you to subscribe. And if you want to see more Clash of Clans videos, hit the like button. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.